You asked and I answered. So many of you have been asking me to cover my favorite altcoin projects that are coming out right now. In this video, we're gonna cover a brand new kick-ass exchange, a middleware solution being built on Arweave, and an Ethereum layer two scaling solution that I believe is going to be huge. If that sounds good to you, make sure that you like, subscribe, and watch until the very end because you are not gonna wanna miss these picks. My name is Kyle Chasse, and I've been in blockchain for almost 10 years. On this channel, we go into deep dives about the best projects in space and cover what you need to know in the world of blockchain. GlobeDX is a trading platform that allows its users to buy, sell, trade, and exchange digital assets such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, etc. with up to 100x leverage. What makes them quite unique is they are aiming to service institutional clients with a proprietary order matching engine that rivals the likes of NASDAQ. Crypto derivative exchanges are in extremely high demand, especially right now due to the fact that BitMEX is currently undergoing a world of legal trouble. Keep in mind, BitMEX was the number one derivatives exchange in the world. And after this whole legal debacle, a lot of the customers fled and are looking for a new exchange to flee to. On top of that, derivatives markets are also breaking records with the whole open interest of Bitcoin's futures approaching an all-time high of $30 billion. Globe has dubbed themselves the Coinbase of derivatives, and they are focused on delivering high-frequency, lightning-fast trading speeds that goes down to the nanosecond. This is extremely important for large volume trading and will be praised by institutions. Major money is flowing into the crypto space right now from institutions, companies, ETFs, and fund managers. Did you ever try to place an order or an exit a trade on BitMEX? I do have a lot of friends that happen to trade on derivatives exchanges and they have told me that they get a lot of messages that look a lot like this. They will also provide the first futures for the Bitcoin volatility index. Here, you can bet on the degree of the market volatility. The exchange will also have the order books kept on the memory of their servers, which will allow order book access in nanoseconds. One of the things that gives a huge vote of confidence to anybody is the investor lineup. Take a look at this. Y Combinator, who manages portfolios over $300 billion with companies like Airbnb, DoorDash, Stripe, Dropbox, and Coinbase on the books. Also joining this strong list is Pantera Capital, led by Dan Moorhead, who are the first institutional asset managers that primarily focused on blockchain. They have an impressive list with companies like FTX, Coinbase, Polkadot, and many more. I am incredibly incredibly bullish about this project, and so is everybody else in the space. Not to mention, unofficially right now, but because I'm also an advisor for the project, we also know that companies like Huobi, OKEX, MXC, and others have also invested in the project. Next up, we've got Argo. And look, let's just get something clear here, just for the record to set it straight. If I'm talking about a project, especially one that's not trading on the secondary market right now, you can be sure that I am most likely invested in it. But with that being said, I wouldn't put my name on something, I wouldn't invest in something or advise something that I didn't fully believe in. Argo is an easy to use, serverless, decentralized web deployment and hosting platform that is built on the blockchain using Arweave Permaweb. Arweave is a protocol that decentralizes the internet and basically turns it into a collectively owned hard drive. If you're like me and you believe in censorship resistance, then you're going to love Arweave. This was basically built for internet permanence, allowing any person or business to upload their ideas with without ever having to worry about losing them. So what makes Argo awesome and absolutely needed? That's pretty easy. The internet has been around for a while now, but most of it has been censored by governments and big corporations. It wasn't long ago, and I'm sure we all remember this, Donald Trump basically got wiped off the face of the internet. Argo can be used by DEXs, DeFi, wiki sites, game companies, and institutions. Argo is basically in beta stage right now, but anyone can go sign up and test the beta at argoapp.live and start deploying. The Argo token has great utility, like settlement systems, incentive driver, reward provider, discounts, and staking rewards. One of the most important things about the Argo team is the fact that these two developers that basically co-founded the project are brilliant they have won tons of hackathons and all the time really I invest in teams but basically the point that I want to drive home we're all familiar with how popular and how important projects like Plasm and Moonbeam are for adoption of Polkadot because basically it allows people to build dApps or port over from Ethereum on top of Polkadot because you can't just build your app on top of Polkadot. You need this middle layer solution. It is making it easy for dApp developers to build a dApp on top of the Arweave blockchain. And that is why I believe this is critical and this is going to be as popular as something like Solana, Polkadot, or Avalanche. In my recent video on Ethereum, I covered just how much Ethereum 2.0 is gonna change the game. And I also 
mention how it's going to take three to five years before Ethereum 2.0 is actually complete. In the meantime, let's focus on layer two scaling solutions that make ETH usable today. I think it's no secret by now, layer two scaling solutions are critical for people to continue to use Ethereum. Like for example, on paid network right now, we want to do agreements between each other. Think about it like signing something on DocuSign, but it doesn't make any sense for me and you to sign an agreement if it's gonna cost $35 in Ethereum fees. This is why we need a scaling solution now. MetasDAO is setting out to help people create their own decentralized businesses on the blockchain. First of all, what is MetasDAO? Well, DAO, like in House of DAO, for example, if you don't know us, House of DAO is one of our projects. DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. DAO is basically a way to govern something, whether it be an entity, organization, or nation state. So it's community-led, not individual-led. Metis DAO is a layer two scaling solution built for the Ethereum blockchain. Layer two protocols are built on top of the main blockchain protocol that enable much faster and cheaper transactions. Metis DAO believes that the decentralized Web3 will share some elements that we already see on the internet, like track record, IDs and certificates, which allows you to build trust. I'm pretty sure that most of you understand just how important layer two scaling solutions are. One of the things that really convinced me to get fully behind MetaStow was taking a look at their GitHub. If you go there, you can see they have a ton of code written and been doing it for a very long time. So this is not a new concept or a new idea, something that they want to do one day. It's something that is happening now. Testnet is live right now. And I know the team very well, and I believe they can definitely execute this. I am really, really big on infrastructure, and that's why I like to allocate a lot of my portfolio to the actual building blocks that are building up this decentralized blockchain world. Which of these projects are you most excited for? Are there any other huge or awesome projects that I should be aware of? Please let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this with all your friends. It really helps me a lot. And most importantly, make sure that you stay tuned because we've got another video coming this week.